Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, Mass this morning is being offered for Alan Galland. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mystery of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword, and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain, and for nothing, uselessly, spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to, the, to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Glory to you, word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified. Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. 
So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, what, are you, what you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he had said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews where I go, you cannot come, so now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. As I mentioned yesterday, we're in this the Holy Week now, and, and the narrative is, is really honing in on uh, the events leading up to the, the immediate moment of, of Jesus' passion. So t- today we hear of the, the kind of the classic scene of the Last Supper. Uh, as I mentioned, the last couple of days we're, we're focusing too on Judas. Like, you know, last week we, we talked a lot about Jesus' uh, increasing conflict with the Jews and the religious leaders of, of the day. Um, but now we see that that conflict is even among the, the 12 apostles and that Judas plays kind of the, the main role in, in launching these events uh, into the, the Passion, which we will begin celebrating on Thursday. I think what I, one of the comments I made yesterday was that it's, you know, Judas is sort of a, a curious figure. Uh, he's somebody that occupies a lot of people's uh, imagination. And I think part of that is because there's a little bit, if we're honest, there's a little bit of Judas in, in each and every one of us. You know, when Jesus says, one of you will betray me, in a way that could be true of, of every single one of us on some level. You know, we, we, we turn our, our backs on the Lord, we betray him in just maybe even just kind of small ways, but all of us are capable of it, I think, if we're completely honest. I think also reading the, the gospel today, we realize we're also a lot like Peter. There's, there's a little bit of Peter in, in all of us. You know, Peter's this, you know, brave, energetic, you know, he's bold in, in his commitment to Christ, but then... The very next day, he's weak, he's scared, he's, he's timid, and he denies the Lord three times. I think, you know, if we're honest with our, ourselves, you know, there is a little bit of Judas in us. There's also a little bit of, of St. Peter. You know, I, I think um, for me, this whole kind of season of Lent, there's always a kind of a movement to it, a trajectory, so to speak, for, for Lent. And I often talk about this a lot earlier in the year. I haven't done that so far this year. But, but generally, when I start Lent, like Ash Wednesday, I'm bold. I've got all of these great plans, these audacious plans for how I'm going to live out Lent, the things I'm going to do, and uh, you know, all these affirmations and, and commitments. And, and usually at some point in Lent, you know, some of that has given way, and, and I've, I've stopped with those commitments, or I've stopped doing those things. You know, I, so I don't know. I don't know how, you know, most of us, I think, probably this Lent, you know, Ash Wednesday, we had all kinds of plans for what we were going to do during Lent, but did any of us anticipate being where we are right now? You know, where's that, that, that boldness? Where's that audacity? Where's that, you know, energetic commitment to the Lord now? For many of us, you know, it's, you know, we're sitting on the couch watching Netflix. You know, this is not exactly how I, I thought I would end my Lent. So like I said, there's this sort of trajectory of Lent, and we start off, I think, in the beginning, really focused on the things that we're going to do. Uh, we start really focusing on ourselves. But then at some point, we begin to realize that, that we really just can't do it on our own. Right? At some point, Lent teaches us that we need a savior, that it's not about our, our bravery or our boldness, nor is it about our weakness or our 
timidity. If Lent does what Lent is supposed to do, you know, hopefully at some point it takes the focus off of us and it helps us to focus on the Lord because he is our hope, because he is our Savior. And we need the Savior to find the grace and the strength to make our commitment and to remain faithful to those commitments that we've made. And so I I don't know, again, I, I think, you know, where are you in Lent? We've only got maybe two more days of, of Lent. But if you're finding yourself at this point where you're not where you, you thought you would be, that's okay. The challenge now is can we be in that place where we stop focusing so much on ourselves and we really begin to turn our attention to the Lord? Because it's not about us. It's about Jesus. Jesus. Trusting in God who walks with us always, we bring our needs to our Lord and Savior. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, may Christ strengthen us as we share the good news of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders and those who carry responsibility for the welfare of others, may Jesus guide them in the ways of servant leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling or suffering, may God's love and presence with them bring consolation and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those gathered here, may God open our hearts more fully and increase our faith in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And for those who have died, may they rest in the loving presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer and for the petitions we hold quietly now in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and tenderness, we know that you carry us in our struggles. Hear our prayers today and give us all that we need to do your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family. And to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord.
be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.